Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this little video is going to be about the extrude tool and particularly making this and then using the perspective tool to put the text on. Pretty cool, pretty fun. There's several ways to do it. I'm not an expert at it, but get your spiral tool that's underneath your pair of a, a polygon tool and just draw you one with like two, two circles and then take it and rotate it kind of like where that's coming down like in this one. Control D and make a duplicate and then move the duplicate down and then mirror it the other way and kind of rotate it to kind of get so you can have two points. And let's move it over a little bit, kind of give it an angle. Then take your two point line and go from that node to that node and I actually need to probably spin this one around a little bit more. So we won't have that sharp edge. Then take your shape tool and just grab that line and get away and then see where that end is and pop it to it. Now you need to select all that and really group it together, but I would use combine. And you actually have combine right here. Let me back up. Combine right there on some newer versions. You can have the combine tool. And then go down to your, basically your drop shadow tool, but get the extrude tool and, and get like right in there and then kind of come down just a little bit. Now there's several ways you could do this and then uh, put some white fill, but uh, it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna have to delete some of the lines anyway that I have found and then get right here to rotate uh, rotate the extrusion. And this is kind of tricky. You got to kind of play around with it. And once you get it to a certain point, you can click off that and get back to your extrude tool and you can make it elongated more. That doesn't look half bad. But now we need to, and there's other ways to do this. I've seen people do it, but I just can't do it. I have to do it the old fashioned way. I'm gonna break the extrude group apart. And then just imagine the lines that you need to delete with your virtual segment delete key. Like we don't need any of those lines, let's, uh, and really we don't need any of these lines at all. So just kind of draw you a rectangle. And then go down here and delete these lines. Delete that line, grab your zoom tool and zoom in a little bit. And see, we kind of got a rough corner right there, but it'll work. And then you just kind of need to envision which line you wouldn't be able to see. So I'm going to say you wouldn't be able to see that line. I'm not so sure. Probably that line you need. Really, that's pretty good. Let's zoom down to here. And you wouldn't be able to see this line because it's basically underneath that piece of paper. We need to look back up here and see. Um, yeah, I think we need to delete this line. And delete that line. That looks pretty good. Now you can do one or two things. You can make it thicker, double click on your pen tool, get it like 10 points or, or more. If you move this out of the way, you can actually see it happen. So we'll go 16 points. <clears throat> then, Get your smart fill tool. First of all, put your nudge, find out how big this thing is. It's under, a little under 11 inches. So let's make our nudge factor 12. Let's take our smart fill tool. And you don't have to do this, but I always like doing it. Left click, right click, and now you've got that shape. And then we can bring the extrude tool or bring the, the, the text into it. And then go up to objects and add perspective. And then just start moving these things to the corners. And you could have actually done this on top of it, but I just like doing it on the side. Whoop, we don't need that. We need that. So now you have a scroll that looks like it's got some writing on it. 
Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.